Hi everyone. Let's look at our cylinder and our program and how we can manipulate the cylinders in it. On my screen here, we have our stock light, we have our run and jog, we have our start, stop, we have a jog, push button, and a reset push button. So we're in run now. The light is red, and if I hit start, our cylinders will start going through a sequence and it will send the sequ our cylinder out, extend, and retract the cylinder. You will also notice that on every cylinder we have an indicator light indicating whether it is extended or it's retracted. And it just goes through a predetermined sequence or pattern. If we stop this, you'll notice our light will go red and then what we can do is we can hit reset. The reset button will bring it back to the first step again. Then we can hit start. It will then continue with that zero step onward. Okay, we'll stop this now. And what we'll do is we can go into jog mode. Now as soon as we go into jog mode, a couple of things happen. We're now in an amber light or yellow light. We have the step sequence up here, which is step 23 we're currently on. We also have put up a, the inputs and the outputs. These are the outputs representing our cylinders. We have the inputs here representing our physical inputs, such as the extend and the retract. And we have what the sequencer is looking for to continue to the next step. So this will aid in troubleshooting as we go along. And now, because we're in jog, we can then use the jog push button and it will go through the next step. So now we're on step 24 and we're back to zero again. Then we'll start one, then two, then three, then four. As I'm stepping through this on my jog, you will notice that the indicating lights for the extended and retract, there's a, a red button or a red indicator that comes on in the uh, below the uh, retract and below the extend indicator light. What that will do is aid in troubleshooting. So if we had a our input that's off and it should have been on, it will quickly allow us to see as we jog through the sequence which one's actually not firing correctly. So it's an excellent uh, maintenance and troubleshooting uh, tool. So we can jog through each one and you can see this um, going through and we'll go right up to the 25 different steps and then we reset back to zero again and again if we hit reset all it will do is go back to step zero again now the next part of our program what we will do is actually teach it a brand new sequence so to do that we just throw in our teach mode and now what we have is our set value comes up. Now at, what I'll do is our first sequence or step zero will be them all off. So I'll just hit set. You'll notice that now we are in sequence step number one. I can now turn on a valve. We'll start with cylinder seven. We'll turn that on. We'll wait for the indicator light to come on and then we'll set it. Our next step will be uh, cylinder seven off, cylinder six on set then five then four then three then two then one you'll notice that I wait for my indicating light every time now once I have one on now let's just put two on, then three, then four, five, six, seven. And for the next step, what we'll do is just turn them all off. And then we'll do a little fancier pattern. We'll turn on uh, cylinder four. Turn it on. Turn on then three and five. 
We'll tear those off. Six and two. Turn those off. And then one and seven. Then we'll turn those off. Then what we'll do is we'll actually energize those again. Again, all I'm doing is coming up with random patterns that we can then reproduce as we do our sequence. And that should do it. And just to indicate the end of our sequence, we'll just turn them all on and then we will turn them all off. That's it. We'll turn our, our uh, indicating or selector switch back to teach. And we're in our jog mode right now. We could jog through the sequence. Um, and as you can see, I can go quick, quite quickly through it. And that looks good. So what we'll do is we will just go into the run mode and we'll start that up. So you can see now we have our sequence that we just programmed in. It took really relatively quick. And we can do this with a variety of different things uh, that we want to sequence um, in the PLC. What I'm looking at the screen right now is an HMI. Uh, it's called Advanced HMI. It's a free software, as well as um, the Do More Designer Simulator. That's what I'm talking to, and we're talking Modbus TCP. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.